Okay, so today we're going to take a look at the easiest way to route the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8.4 AT&T. Specifically, this is the T707A model. Now, I should point out we're not doing anything with the bootloader. We are totally just routing it. We are just routing it. That's all we're doing today, uh, which is great. So you can remove bloatware. You can speed up the performance uh, of, the, of the system, which is great. And it makes it a lot easier to use. So we're going to go to kingroot.net. You're going to have two links here, one for a download for Android, that is the APK file, and the other one being uh, downloaded for, for Windows. So I, I downloaded it for Android, obviously. And I highly recommend, if you don't already, installing ES File Explorer, it, just in general. This is a good regular general tip for using any tablet, any Android. Get ES File Explorer, it's a lot easier, I think. But anyway, I haven't installed it yet, um, so I really haven't connected this... I really haven't had a chance to download all my apps yet. Anyway, but I went to, after you go to kingroot.net, download the file, you're going to want to go into My Files. And yes, that is already installed on the system, My Files. And navigate to the Kingroot download, your newly downloaded Kingroot app. And hit, you know, a couple screens where it say Next, and you're going to want to hit Install and let that bad boy install. Yeah, obviously, if you're going to do something with the bootloader, it's going to be a little more complicated. Uh, I recommend XDA developers. Uh, I think it's .NET to help you with that. So anyway, we, we launch Kingroot here. You can drag a couple of these little screens up. You're going to come to a screen that says Purify System. Hit the button. You know, follow that. That says whatever it says there. Install or whatever. And you're going to come to this screen. This is the this is the important one here. And I, I reorientated the tablet so you can see it better. If you're going to, there will be a button that says Get Now. You might have to tap it a couple times. In my case, I had to tap it, I think, three times in order to get it to work. Uh, but yes, once you see that little you know circle circle screen and you know the percents the percents going up there, you you know that it's installing and you get that green check at the end, and we are now rooted. We are now running on a rooted Galaxy Tab S8.4, and so you can. I, I always like to optimize my apps so that they run you know pretty smooth, and so that they're running you know as efficiently as possible under root here because I you know I play games on my tablet. I, I like playing games on here. And I like playing my emulators, so I want to go ahead and um, individually optimize each of my apps. And fortunately, I can do so easily, very easily, using Kingroot. So, yeah, you know, I've kind of been poking around, figuring out how to do it, and I just came across it, and I was really impressed by it. So, yeah, seriously, guys, go check out Kingroot. And then you can use, you know, you can use other, obviously, once you're rooted, you can use pretty much anything, pretty much any rooted app to even further tweak and optimize your your tablet here. So I always like Purify too. Purify is pretty cool. It shows me, you know, kind of shows me the speed of my my system and whether what and what's blogging it down, you know, etc. So that always helps as well. So yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead. Feel free to leave a, a comment. Uh, and as usual, thumbs up or thumbs down this video, guys. So yeah, a lot of cool stuff here. Now my next the next part of this video is going to entail me showing off the performance of the apps. Uh, specifically showing off, like I, like I just alluded to, different emulators, you know, showing off how the Dolphin emulator performs on here, certainly how the Recast, the Sega Dreamcast emulator, how that performs, the N64 emulator as well. A lot of people in the Android community are interested in that as well. So we're going to go through those individual apps and see how well it performs on the Galaxy Tab S8.4 rooted. So that'll be all for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Tim the Gamer 13 signing off. So long.